Hey everyone, welcome to FS Hackers. My name is Afshan and this is going to be our fourth video of this penetration testing tool series. And in this video, we are going to talk about the harvester. Okay, so this is a very interesting tool. So in this video, we'll cover the harvester tool and we'll cover the core commands and the flags that is used in the harvester. So let's see what is the harvester. Basically, it is a command line tool that is pre-installed in Kali Linux and it is act as a wrapper uh, for a variety of search engines. And we use the harvester to find out emails account, like email addresses, subdomain names, virtual host, open ports and employee name uh, related to a specific domain of the organization. So this is a very short introduction of the harvester. So let's see the practical part of this tool. Okay, so I'm using the Kali Linux. Let me clear my screen. Okay, and uh, the harvester, okay, this particular command is deprecated. Okay, this particular version is deprecated, the harvester. If you write it like the harvester is deprecated, please use the harvester with the capital H okay like this so we we this is an updated tutorial of the harvester so let me write the capital H harvester and this is how you can see the help menu with the dash H okay so we have different flags or switches like H is for show this help message and exit okay you can also use this dash dash help the second one is uh, dash D that is for domain name the company name or domain to search it is a very important switch dash L okay like limit the number of search result the default set is 500 and this Capital S switch is to start with result number X, like default is 0. And we also have some other information like the, the harvester version 4.0.3. And it is coded by the Christian Martirola. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Okay. So, yeah. This dash G is for Google Doc. Okay, use Google Doc for Google search. We can use this switch as well. Dash P is for proxies. We can use proxies for request. And uh, the S switch is for Shadan. For this particular switch, you have to set the keys. Okay, the API keys. And after that, you can use this particular switch as well. The V is for virtual host. Verify host name via DNS resolution and search for virtual host and uh, the e switch is for the dns server to use for lookup like dns lookup dash t is to perform a dns tld expansion that is top level domain uh, discovery default is false okay r switch is to check for takeovers n switch is for dns server lookup like you can enable the dns server lookup Okay, this dash dash C switch is to perform a DNS brute forcing on the domain. I'm not going to perform this particular action in this video. And this is also helpful the dash F and provide the file name. Save the result to an XML and JSON file. And this particular switch is also important that is dash B and the source. The sources are Beidou, Bing. These are the search engines. Uh, that LinkedIn is also there, uh, GitHub is there, DuckDuckGo is there, Bing also there, and Google is there, LinkedIn links, Yahoo, Twitter is also a search source. So let's start with the harvester. Let me try D for domain and we'll see the tesla.com 
and we'll use this particular source that is google okay let's hit enter it will take some time our target is tesla.com by default it will search 500 results searching 500 results it is the default limit now it's searching on google google is our source okay so the result is here the harvester has found 10 email addresses okay no ip address found okay no issue but we have found the email addresses of tesla.com and these are the host okay like six host and 10 email addresses now let's change the domain okay the harvester now let's make it microsoft microsoft.com and so google is our source and uh, we'll use the f option to save the result in a file and i will write so i'll write the info file let's hit enter okay so the microsoft the 11 host we have found of microsoft no emails found and the report start reporting started and the xml file is saved okay let me check ls we have this info j xml file and info.json file but we are having this problem an error occurred while saving the json file a byte like object is required not str okay no problem okay so let's open the file open a folder uh, desktop okay we have this info.xml file okay so we have the ip addresses and the host name here we can perform the ping scan okay with the help of ping command to see if these are these hosts are up and running so okay great so that's it for this video guys it was just a short video like you can use this uh, the harvester tool uh, to perform the passive reconnaissance we'll make an another video on this tool with more details uh, this is for the beginner like it is just a short tutorial how to use the harvester so i hope you like this video guys if you did then please share this video with your friends and your colleagues and yes don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel we'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep learning Bye bye